And I'm Ellie Lambert. And this is the Lambert and Bailey Show. It is where we're here to tell you everything. Which, you know, is quite a big subject, so we better, better, better crack, crack on. on. Yeah. yeah. Um, so anyway, about us. We have an... I'd say unhealthy. I'd say borderline healthy, actually. Borderline healthy unhealthy obsession with Harry Potter. Yeah. Um, um, that's pretty much all you need to yeah. know about us. But really? Yeah, it brings us on quite nicely. It's the subject of Ben. We're smooth like that, you see. Very smooth. Right. So, yeah, I don't know whether you know Ben. He, um, he's a minor, m very minor character in Harry Potter. I'd say major. Major for some people. You know, he speaks wise words. <laughs> for, he, <laughs> um, for example, should we give him one of the quotes? Go for it. Um, in the Prisoner of Azkaban, Prisoner of, yeah. describing Birth. Sirius Black, mm -hmm. it's like trying to catch smoke with your bare hands. With your bare hands. Can you just imagine him running out with bare... Like, this grabbing is, the smoke. This is Ben, by the way, in case you didn't know. This is Ben. Okay? Just he's a fine specimen take of a man. Take it. Take it in. Okay. Ben. It's quite a lot to take in, ben. I understand. Yeah, anyway. Got another quote? Yeah, okay. So, you might know him from a certain divination class when... That's the third film as well, actually. When Harry... So looking into his cup to see what his future is, is basically. Yeah. Professor Trelawney is going a bit mental, and she's like, "Oh, you got the grim!" And everyone's just looking at her like, "What you're like? What the grin? Exactly." And then Ben's like, "No, hold up, no, <laughs> wait, just a minute. It's the grim, taking the form of a giant spectral dog. It's among the darkest omens in the world. It's an omen, pause for effect, of, of death." death. Yeah. So that's Ben. That's Ben. Anyway, we got some fun facts about we can, Ben. We can tell you some other things about Ben. What does Ben mean in the language of the Tib? Of the Tib. What does it mean? It means yeah. peace. Because, you know, Ben's a peaceful character. Just You, you only have to look at his face to so, see that he personifies peace. He means no harm. Thank you. Yeah. Also, he's in the Hogwarts choir. Yeah. And, it's an interesting fact, a bit of a, you know, not very good really with well, the whole... Oh, continuity error. Yeah. Here we go. This is a big one. In which film was it? The Prince third of film. Third yeah. Film. He was in Gryffindor. And then what was he in? Order, Order of Phoenix. Phoenix. What was he? Ravenclaw. Someone slipped up there. You can't just change houses. Uh, uh, uh. That's not how the system works. Someone's got to be fired. Yeah. Hmm. It's not good. Anyway, what else? He, he's not in the books, which is why quite a lot of people might not have heard of him. Mm. In the third film, in fact, he was... Put down in, I think, in the cinema, it was just boy one. Third, boy one. It was yeah. just boy. boy number one, though. You have to bear that in mind. Boy number one. He was boy first. number five. No, he's first. Boy number 63. Boy number one. Yep. Yeah. And then, in this DVD, he was listed as Ben, which I'm sure came as quite a surprise for those who have analysed. The Ben fans in yeah. the audience. Which are quite a few. I think over 200 fans. We can't, yeah, Facebook. we're not the only ones. Not the only ones. Yeah. We're part of a community of Ben lovers. We call them the Bemmers. No, that sounds really wrong. <laughs> Lauren calls them the Bemmers. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't call them the Bemmers. <laughs> anyway, ignore that. Yeah. Um, what else about him? He fought in the Battle of Hogwarts. Brave man. Brave man is our Bem. We don't have a picture of him in the Order of Phoenix, unfortunately. No. Can't see the growth from boy to man. Yeah. Anyway, and he isn't on the list of casualties. And we, it's, but it's not quite clear whether he dies or not. No. Which I think is a shame. Okay. If he was a bigger character, I, I think they would have put that. But you mm. don't see him in the hall after Harry fights. No. Well, we've well. analysed. We've analysed the scene. <laughs> we we know what we're talking about, guys. Yeah. And, you know, just look out for Ben next time you're watching the films. Look out for Ben. You'll okay. Love, you'll love him. He's the guy that looks like this. Yep. Yeah. Gryffindor. Gryffindor. Then Ravenclaw. <laughs> Might be confusing, I know, but just keep an eye out for yeah. him. All right. It's not his fault. And so concludes the first episode of the Lambert and Bailey show. We hope to see you next time, viewers. Hey.